guys, how's it going? So before I start this video, I want to apologize to you guys for wearing the same black cami in like all of my videos. Uh, but I've kind of reached that point in pregnancy that I think most women in their third trimester eventually hit where your give a crap just gets busted and you don't care what you wear as long as it's comfortable and as long as you can make it to the end of your pregnancy comfortable that's where that's where i am so this is what i wear most of the time it's my pink blush cami and it's so comfortable and i'm just gonna wear it until this baby gets here and then i can wear regular clothes again hallelujah so today i wanted to show you guys what i got the girls for christmas this year and the way deb and i do christmas we don't set a specific amount that we're gonna spend on each kid we don't get a whole bunch but we want the kids to have an equal amount of presents to open so if Carly gets nine presents, Kenley gets nine presents. I want them to open up a gift at the same time together. We always get them one big present together, one present that they can play together. We did it last year, we'll do it this year, and then they'll have their own separate piles. So this year, they're a big present, and I can't go get it because it's a big box. <laughs> we got them this little kitchen. They already have one, but it's a couple of years old, number one, and number two, it's like really cheaply made, like really cheaply made. Um, so we decided to get them a better one and it technically already comes with food, but not like a whole lot. So we got them this. It's just an extra big thing. I think it's 120 pieces. Yeah, 120 pieces of food. We got them some extra food and we also got them some pots and pans to play on their kitchen with. So uh, that's what we got the girls for their big present together. And now I'm going to show you Carly's pile first. Carly, for Christmas this year, I really wanted to get her, because she, uh, she likes a couple things. She likes Finding Dory, because she loves fish. If you're new to my channel and you haven't already seen, my kid is obsessed with fish. And she likes Doc McStuffins. So I wanted to get her, like, some things from there, but I also wanted to get her some educational stuff. So I tried to do, like, a little mix of everything. The first thing we got her is this Finding Dory ball, and Carly loves bouncing balls. Anytime she gets around one, bouncing ball! It's like this thing she does, so we got her one of these. We also got her a Finding Dory bed set. It comes with the quilt and the um, pillow sham, and I don't know if you guys can really see it very much, very well. But anyway, it comes with a quilt and a pillowcase and a flat top sheet and a bottom sheet. And she'll really love this. She'll, she'll love this a lot. And this is the other Finding Dory item that we got her. It's a little fold out chair. We just thought that she would like a little chair to fold out and sit in front of the TV we, if she wants to watch TV. Plus Dev and I are thinking about going camping next year. Dev and I have been together for three years and we've never been on vacation. And I was like, listen, babe, we should just go camping this year. Like, let's just do that for vacation. So this she can take on vacation with her. That is all for Finding Dory stuff, except a stocking stuffer, which that's a separate video. And this is one of her Doc McStuffins toys. It's a little puppy and a carrier, and it's got stuff in it. Uh, yeah, it's got like little um, stuff in it to like play doctor with the puppy. So I thought that was cute. And we also got her this vacuum because we started our layaway like the weekend of Halloween. <laughs> because Walmart was doing their layaways that early. So we went ahead and started putting stuff on layaway. And this is one of the items that Carly just grabbed and played with all throughout the store. And she did not want me to put it down, so I got it for her. I got her this little vacuum. This is one of the items that I got from Amazon. It's a giant 51 piece floor puzzle. And she really likes puzzles lately and I just thought that she would really like this one. Plus it's educational. I thought we could do it on the floor together. I just thought she would really like this. And this is the last thing that we got Carly. And it's also educational. It's the Leapfrog book thing. What's it called? Help me. Okay, I guess it doesn't have like an actual name because I don't see it on the box. But anyway, it's the book holder thing with the little pen that comes with it. And we got her two books to go with it. Um, the ABC one, and we also got the one, two, three. We'll most likely get her more books later on. <laughs> we'll probably get her more books for Easter, but for now she has these two, and I just thought that she would really like this. She likes books anyway, so I really thought she would like this. And as for Kenley and her pile, uh, the first thing that we got her was little cars, 
and she just like really likes cars so <laughs> we got her these it was really hard to shop for Kimley because it is just my opinion but I think it's really hard to shop for kids under two because they don't really have a preference of what they like yet and there's not anything specific and it's just kind of general <laughs> and this is just me but I just find it harder to shop for kids under two but we also got her a little baby doll we haven't gotten her her first baby doll yet so we went ahead and got her her first baby doll and Carly got that leapfrog book thing so we found something very similar for for Kenley and it's got these little things on it and it flips open and whenever you turn it on and touch something it actually says what it is so I thought that was pretty neat and I got that for her we also got her a little people girl and a little dog uh, they have some little people toys in their room so we thought we would just give Kenley some more of those so we, this is one of them and this is the other one that we got for him it's a SUV car and I think this comes yeah that, that comes up it's got a little girl with it so we got her that too and this is another item that we got Kenley it's a bath toy it's a little octopus with rings and I think we got this on Amazon this is another item that we got her that I can't like really show you guys so I'm gonna show you a picture but it's this inflatable cow. Her physical therapist brought her this a couple of times and she really liked it. So Devin went and found it on Amazon and that's what she's getting for Christmas. And she's also getting a Minion Tower kit. I think it's like modeling clay or something like that. And they're most likely not going to actually make the Minions. <laughs> it's just for them to play with. And the last thing that we got Kenley that I'm also gonna have to show you a picture of because it's just a box. It's called a sports activity center and it's got um, a basketball and a soccer goal and it's just got all these cute little things on it. So we thought we would get her that too. And because it just comes in a box and it's not really that exciting, so what we're thinking about doing is unboxing it and putting it all together. And I want to get one of those bags that you can put over toys to like wrap them. I'm thinking about getting one of those, but Devin wants to leave it unwrapped and just leave it as it is in front of the to in front of the tree. So I don't know which we're gonna do, but <laughs> uh, whichever one we do, we're just gonna go ahead and put it together. And besides the stocking stuffers, that is everything that we got our girls for Christmas this year. I know it doesn't seem like a whole lot, but we just don't go all out for our girls for Christmas. They're not at an age yet where they can actually tell us, hey, I want this, 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 and this, and actually give us a list. So we kind of take advantage of that and we just don't go all out because we live in a small apartment and they have toys as it is and we just try not to overdo it because we don't want that room to just go crazy but I'm really happy with what we got them and I think it's a really good amount and uh, the, both of the girls have nine items plus the three items that they have together I'm pretty excited and I can't wait for them to wake up on Christmas morning and open their gifts and that is like the best thing isn't it as a parent to watch them open their gifts that big old smile on their face thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to follow me on all my social media my links are down below in my description bar and I will see you guys tomorrow in a new vlog. Bye!